Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's talk about the entropy mystery. So what is entropy? Well, entropy is a mathematically calculated number which depends upon the transfer of energy. And that's exactly what the universe is doing at all times. Energy is always transferred. So here, for example, if we take a small little entity of the universe, let's take two glasses of water, one at 100 degrees Celsius and the other one at 0 degrees Celsius, and let's provide a conducting path between the two. Then energy will flow from where it's hot to where it's cold until both glasses of water are at the same temperature, provided that there is the same amount of water in both. They have now reached what we call thermal equilibrium, energy flow will stop. But in the process, entropy will have increased. Whenever there's a trend of energy, entropy always increases. Here we have another example, we have the sun, we have the earth, and there's always energy flow from where it's hot to where it's cold. That's always going to be the case. Energy will always flow from where it's hot to where it's cold, never the other way around. Well, yes, if you take a look at it in some ways, there'll be lots of energy in one direction, a little bit of energy in the other direction, but the net amount of energy will always be where it's hot, from where it's hot to where it's cold. And during the process, again, energy will therefore always increase. You will never see energy flow from where it's cold to where it's hot because that requires an input of work and that's not a natural process. It's kind of like seeing water flow uphill. If you begin to see water flow uphill, that would be the day you might see entropy actually going down. But of course, you've never seen water flow uphill and you've never seen entropy going down. So through the entire history of the universe, energy has always been transferred from where it's hot, where the stars are, to where it's cold, where the planets and the moons and the asteroids are. And so that process continues and the entropy of the universe always increases and increases and increases. Never the other way around. So when we take a look at the history of the universe, long time ago entropy was very low, today it's very high and it'll just continue to go high and there's no way in a natural process to get the enter to be low. The big question is, how did the universe have a low entropy to begin with? Because that's a, not a natural process. It cannot happen on its own. How did the universe start out at a low entropy? Wow. Because if that wasn't the case, we wouldn't exist. Our existence depends upon this process of heat being transferred to where it's hot, the sun, to where it's cold, the earth. And without that process, we wouldn't exist. And every time heat is transferred, entropy keeps on increasing. That's the mystery of entropy. It cannot be explained by any theory how the universe's entropy started so low and has continued to increase since then. That's the mystery.